The city of Jacksonville is pumping an extra $1 million into the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. The goal is to hire more officers and cut down on crime. As News 4 Jax told you on the 10 o'clock news Monday, City Council approved that funding along with the mayor's new budget. JSO says now they can hire 40 new officers and 40 new community service officers. Channel 4's Chris Parento talked with Sheriff Mike Williams today about what this means for our community. He's live from JSO headquarters. Chris. The sheriff says he's very happy that he, the mayor, and city council were all able to get on the same page and make Jacksonville know that public safety is a top priority for them. The sheriff says now it's time for the department to start looking for and identifying the best candidates to fill these new positions. With the budget now approved, those 40 new police officer positions and 40 new community service officer positions will be a huge asset for JSO cutting down on crime in Jacksonville. How important is that so that you can get these next classes ready to go quickly? Yeah, I think, you know, we've got a great process. We've got a great training process, and our academy staff does a fantastic job. So, you know, it, that process is there. It's just a matter of, again, identifying good quality people of character and, uh, you know, who have good integrity and, and putting them in that process. That process isn't necessarily a quick one, but with recruiting, already in training, it can help. These 80 new hires aren't the only ones the sheriff's office will be making. Because of a deferred retirement program, or DROP, there are close to 100 officers that will have to retire by the end of next year. We'll continue to replace those. You know, we've got, in the next 20 months, we will hire about 200 people at JSO, and that's replacing the DROP. That's including the, you know, the 40 officers that we'll hire out of this budget. Uh, again, the additional 40 CSOs, which will be a a huge, a huge plus and, and force multiplier for us. During his campaign, the sheriff talked about hiring 147 new officers and restoring the CSO force. He says this is a great first step to doing that. News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says there's only one potential downside to so many new officers. When you're losing that many officers, you're losing a lot of experience. You just don't have the veterans out there that can sort of help the, the, the newer officers, especially on the midnight shift where most of the officers are very new officers. Like when I came on the department, I learned a lot in the police academy, but I learned a lot through the veteran officers that were riding the beach next to me. The sheriff said that he's very hopeful and knows that those new CSOs are going to have a huge impact freeing up other officers so that the CSOs can handle traffic crashes and other minor things and the police officers can get out there and deal with other major crimes that come in. He's hopeful that all of the new officers they're able to hire bring a new energy to the police department. Downtown of Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.